So one of the other changes that we're seeing in this environment is that people are beginning to look at the, the power consumption and the, and the footprint of these platforms. So they want rack space back in the data center because rack space is a premium in the data center. Uh, but they want also to get a more green IT environment. In fact, there's an ISO 14000 series standard that you can actually certify for that is, in fact, green IT. But more importantly, operationally, the issue for them is a lot of times they're running out of power. I've got customers today who have to decide what equipment they're going to turn off and take out of the environment before they can deploy new equipment, right? Or that the facilities people are, have, have come back around to them because eventually they do finally report up to one checkbook. Uh, the facilities people have come back around and said to them, hey, you know what? Um, you don't have any more power budget here, okay? So, you know, you're topped out and, you know, this is what it's going to be. Or the need to put in the next chiller system because that's always a scary thing. You know, you're talking about putting in one of these massive platforms, water-cooled, drilling pipes, water, concrete dust and, and water, not good things for computer environments generally speaking. So those kinds of scenarios drive people into this concept that I want the performance, I want the footprint back, I want my rack space back because i got other stuff I want to do with it, and I want to save the power because I've got other things in my environment that draw power, right? And at some point, that checkbook pays the utility company. There's reasons why in, in a lot of our regions, um, close to home for me, Pacific Gas and Electric will actually work with IT customers um, and give them significant rebates based on their ability to go in and green their, their data center and, and drop some of this power draw so that we, we get away from some of those peak cycles that cause um, the rolling brownout kind of, kind of conditions that, that we've seen in previous years. But another thing that's happening in that same space with that footprint is that people are beginning to look and say, hey, the same kinds of consolidation that went on in the SAN space for taking eight and 16 port switches and sort of the network closet kind of switches and consolidating them into director platforms so I have fewer management instances because every management instance at some someday will become a management headache. So in that same environment, what they're looking at is, you know, this is a good time to take these very high performance, multi-terabit, gigabit ethernet switching platforms and begin to look at saying, instead of a dozen switches in this closet, let me do one big platform with less management, less power, less footprint, right, than, than this other environment. And so that kind of green IT piece works from both a, a packaging and a power constraint.